philosophy at Birkbeck is incredibly fun, it's challenging, um, but if you put in the hard work then you will get so much out of it. You will find yourself talking philosophy to anyone that will listen to you, your friends and your family and uh, anyone just down the pub or whatever. I'm glad I came here. I enjoy how it's a mixture of adults and young students and especially for philosophy because it's always important to share opinions and the fact that there's mature students and younger students gives you a wider mix of opinions and also the fact that it's an evening university. You can work during the day and you also have a higher chance to um, get a better degree overall because you have more time to revise. You don't just have to wake up in the morning and go straight to university, you have time to prepare before your lectures. I was an 18 year old who was <laughs> deciding to study philosophy and I think that philosophy really helps you with all different paths. So you don't have to be a philosopher, an academic, you can go into law, you can go into something else afterwards, teaching, anything. But it really just broadens your mind and makes you think about things you never thought that you would think about and you think about them a lot. Our main programme is a programme in Western philosophy. Uh, we study its history from the ancients, the early moderns and the contemporary and we study it across a wide range of fields. So some uh, very abstract questions having to do with logic, and metaphysics, epistemology, but also some very applied subjects including ethics and political philosophy and the philosophy of art. Students find it really fascinating. Um, it's particularly fun teaching philosophy of art in a place like Birkbeck because we get a really wide mix of students. So we get some students who are, say, UCAS students who just come from a traditional background, but we get other students in philosophy of art who are artists, who work in galleries, who run galleries, some people who sell and buy art. And so they all have quite different perspectives on the issues, and I learn as much as they do, I think. Different lecturers have different styles. You might have one hour lecture where the whole thing is just a big lecture, and then you have a discussion afterwards, or you might have a lecturer who le lets you interject and lets you take part in the discussion, which is a really great way of studying. And I think here we have such a broad range of knowledge within the lecturers that they have different styles and it works for their different subject areas. But just think about it, okay. If Plato was right and his jury case refutes the view that knowledge is just true judgment. Doesn't that mean that, in fact, you can't have knowledge by testimony? Because? The seminars are totally invaluable because you get a chance to really discuss your ideas, actually get to grips with some philosophy yourself. And it does seem quite scary at first to say your ideas, but the leaders are always so understanding. They have a they have a really amazing knack of being able to pull out your ideas from you. Even if you think that you haven't got anything to add, they somehow get it out of you and make you feel totally at ease. This term I've been running a course in political philosophy for first year students. And so I've been focusing on themes in citizenship. So we've talked about all the standard things like obeying the law and voting and so forth, but we've also talked about work, and the, con the gendered construction of citizens. And I think that these are issues that people sort of know about anyway, but what we try to do is to bring a new kind of range of questions, a new rigour, a new clarity to thinking about those questions. The key thing is that it looks at each of these individually and sees them as being a particular adaptation. Today is a module I teach called Evolution in Philosophy, which is all about various um, famous debates in philosophy and what impact the, the science of evolution has on it. There's a famous argument for the existence of God that the exquisite design of living creatures bespeaks an intelligent designer. And of course, evolution provides a rival theory for that. So one wants to distinguish between its image and the media. It's one of the wonderful things about teaching at Birkbeck. It's such a varied student body. We have a lot of, as it were, regular school leavers, 18, 19 year olds. Um, yeah, then we have a lot of people later in life, 20, 30 something, even a few retired people in my class this evening, for example. Um, and the great thing for me as a teacher, and many of the students have said it's a great thing for them as well. You get such a wide range of life experiences um, and different attitudes to bring to the table. What's really exciting about Birkbeck is that I come across students who do so many different things. Somebody might be working right next door uh, in a shop. Somebody might be retiring from the career as a, as a judge or a barrister. Uh, somebody might be traveling into London from the countryside where they have a line of work. Uh, some of them might be in their early 20s. 
Some of them might be in their 60s. Uh, some of them might be British. Some of them might be from overseas. And what's remarkable is that Birkbeck is a place which is so diverse and so self-consciously diverse that is very respectful of difference. And I find the enthusiasm that our students generate together makes this a, a really exciting place to work and to study. A lot of students, because we often get a lot of mature students who have been out of the educational system for a long while, think they like the idea of philosophy, they're not completely sure what it is, they come here and sometimes it's difficult, I mean sometimes it's like a duck to water, but sometimes it's quite difficult for them. But what, it's really wonderful to see as the years progress over the degree, suddenly it all starts fitting in. And we tell them that, you're going to get a lot of pieces and at first it looks like a jigsaw that couldn't possibly come together. But in the third year it all comes together and they often come back to us and say, now I see what that first year lecture was about. So that's, there's a wonderful expression from Wittgenstein, light dawns slowly over the whole. That is very true about philosophy. You learn bits and pieces and sometimes you might despair and think, well, what's the point of that? But bit by bit, a light dawns and the whole thing comes together. And students report that experience very commonly through their experience at Birkbeck.